<laughs> now, the Orioles had traded Miguel Tejada yesterday to the uh, San Diego Padres. Ty Wigan, his name is still very much active with the trading deadline approaching on July the 31st at 4. For more on the latest with Ty Wigan, let's go out to Kansas City and visit with Amber Theo Harris. Hello, Amber. Hello, Tom. Well, as we do get closer to that deadline, it looks more and more likely that Ty Wigginton will stay put. Andy McPhail has fielded a bunch of calls. He has had the discussions, but it seems that teams that have showed interest over the past couple of weeks have gone in different directions. We know that the Rangers signed Jorge Cantu, a right-handed hitting first baseman. We know the Yankees just acquired Lance Berkman. That doesn't mean necessarily that the Yankees have lost interest in Ty Wigington, but we're hearing out of New York that the uh, Yankees aren't willing to meet the asking price that Andy McPhail would like for Ty Wigginton, most likely a shortstop prospect, and that's just not happening right now. So it looks like he could stay put. It's cooling off some of those talks, but this could be a good thing for the young players on the team for the next two months. They'll get to keep one of the veterans that has been very vocal and a leader in the clubhouse. I think, um, you know, I look back to when I first got to the big leagues. Um, I came out with the New York Mets, and it was an all-veteran team, and um, you know, all those guys took me under their wing and, and showed me the way to go about business. So I always felt, you know, if I'm fortunate enough to play long enough where I can reach that role, then I would more than fill those shoes that veterans filled for me, I guess. And knowing that a new manager is coming in here, you've played under several different managers. For some of the young players here that really haven't known a lot about change in baseball, is that something also you're going to help them through this next coming week? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, um, you know, we already had a change once earlier this season. Um, you know, we're going to have another change, so I think I think that could even help the guys. Um, granted, it's a little different because it's not an in-house move and, and people might not be familiar, but you know what, when it boils down to it, go out and play the game as hard as you possibly can and uh, any manager is going to enjoy you. So here's a look at some of the rumors that we've heard about the Orioles. As I mentioned, Ty Wigginton had been rumored to possibly go to the New York Yankees. I just mentioned the situation there. Now, if the Yankees still would like to use him as an infielder for his versatility and the asking price goes down, we could still see that become a last-minute trade. But the Twins, Phillies, and Giants had showed some interest, and it seems that that has cooled off as well. Now, Jeremy Guthrie's name had been mentioned as to possibly going to the Dodgers. The Dodgers have been very vocal about looking for a start starting pitcher, but Ted Lilly's name has come up more often, and plus the Orioles not really willing to move Jeremy Guthrie. He's pitched very well, and they need him in the rotation uh, for the end of the year with these young starters. And also, Will Ullman's name as a reliever, the Red Sox have been looking for some bullpen relief, so we could see something happen with Will Ullman, although the Red Sox have inquired about a lot of different relievers. You could even throw Luke Scott's name on there. We know a lot of different scouts have been out to uh, Oriole Park at Camden Yards the past couple of weeks looking at him, but it seems there's no major team that has a major interest right now. So this could be the end of the trades for the Orioles, but then again, you never know what's going to happen leading right up to the deadline. Tom?